how is globalization impacting uh, the different trends within you know, private equity and hedge funds? Offshoring has been a big part of, you know, in the financial services space now for, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. First, a lot of it went to Florida, then other areas, and, you know, obviously now a lot of stuff in India and the Philippines, et cetera, et cetera. There were certain functions, no matter what, that are always going to be based here. You know, but you could still, you know, you could outsource a lot of your accounting and finance and some of your operational type things to, to other markets, and clearly a lot of firms do that. Um, I think, you know, what we're also seeing, though, is, you know, the, the, the quality and the level. Um, one of the things that I see in my space all the time, um, especially with the emerging managers and even with some of the larger guys, when funds are selecting their service providers, they want to make sure that their invest, the investors want to ensure that they're, that they're using best-in-class providers, okay? So that means you can't have two guys here who say, yeah, we're a fund administrator, and we can handle guys at a billion dollars, and with two guys here and 20 guys overseas where we can speak to them twice a month, and when something goes wrong, we have no opportunity to really kind of work on that and fix it. Um, same thing on the legal side. So the, these jobs are still going to you know, be here. But I think the offshoring of, and, and the places we offshore to um, is becoming more and more remote. I mean, uh, you know, Goldman does all the stuff. This used to be a Goldman Sachs space for, uh, for anybody, you know, 85 broad. I mean, everything's now in Seattle and, you know, in Jersey City and wherever. So, um, you know, clearly the need to have people in New York and their tri-state area is not the same as it was uh, from a hiring perspective. Where are all the hiring jobs right now? I mean, what, what are you seeing? It's a great time in the alternative space. Um, we're seeing more startups and more real startups, not guys with three guys in a Bloomberg in a garage somewhere, guys with real money starting up and building real businesses. Um, we're seeing, you know, the fourth generation or the third or fourth generation uh, of the alternative investment, uh, you know, community right now, where everyone has some, you know, level of legacy or some kind of pedigree to, to get into this space. Um, clearly, the hot areas, uh, compliance related, due diligence related. Um, there's only two ways to solve problems for the most part uh, that companies face. One is, you know, through a technology solution, and the second is through a human capital solution. I don't know. If the firms that don't get it, if they're ever going to get it, um, they love to go, you know, we call it the alphabet soup of hiring. Well, we got to have a COO and a CFO and a CAO and a this, and they'll throw the letters at everybody without recognizing who's doing what function, and are we doing it for the right reasons? So what does that mean? Um, are we hiring because our investors are demanding it? Are we hiring something because our uh, regulators are demanding it? Or are we really hiring it because we think it's going to make us a better company today, tomorrow, down the road? The truth of the matter is, in every, every scenario, there's probably a little bit of all three of those in there. Fourth quarter, where are we going? Um, hiring, I mean, you, you, you have some insight. What would you say? Yeah, about? hiring, it, look, it's been a pretty good year uh, from a hiring perspective. Um, it's been a pretty good last two years. It's not 2007-8 anymore, uh, but it's coming back slowly but, uh, but surely. Um, I think, you know, right now we're working on situations uh, really for the first quarter. Um, you know, one of the things we had spoken about, I think, uh, you know, in one of the calls we had had um, was really the volatility in the market and how that's affecting things. Um, it's a little bit of a difficult time out there, so there's a little bit of a hurry up and wait type of attitude, but clearly we're still trending up. There are more, you know, hedge fund and, and alternative investment jobs and, you know, private equity jobs now clearly than there were, uh, you know, a year ago and two years ago. And so it's really finding, the, you know, the right space. The other trends that we're seeing a lot more out of New York type stuff. Uh, New York, which is always the hub, it's still the hub, but with a lot more spread out everywhere. I mean, you guys are based, uh, I know, in Texas, and you do stuff, I'm sure, across the country. I'm starting to get calls from clients in the Midwest and San Francisco that just can't find the talent pool out there to support a lot of the initiatives that they have.